Hey everybody! Yeah, same makeup, same hairdo, same shirt, same everything, because I was sitting here reading reviews online about Revlon Photo Ready, and I saw Lisa something or other, um, her review on YouTube about it, and I wanted to give my opinion on it. Now, I'm in 001 Ivory. I'm not sure if I'll have to bump up a color. I am getting some color. Not that you guys can tell or anything, I look white as a ghost, but uh, getting some color from being out in the sun. Um, but anyway, I may have to bump up a color. I don't know, we'll see. Depending on how often I'm out in the sun. I do use a sunscreen, so it shouldn't be too bad. And this has SPF 20 in it, so. Anyway, everybody's saying that this has glitter in it. Now, I want to be very clear on what glitter is. Glitter is he I wish I had some right now. I do have some over here, but I'm not going to stop and start again. Sorry, if you can hear the TV, my boyfriend's playing video games. Um, so, glitter is big chunks. That's the definition of glitter. This has shimmer in it. Slight shimmer. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. The only time that I see shimmer is... After I'm completely done with the application on my hand, I'll look at my hand and I'll be like, oh, there's a little shimmer on there. That's it. So I'm going to run through how I apply this and explain to you why I do it that way and go over the formula and everything. So to start out in the morning, I wash my face. I then take um, a moisturizer, whichever one I'm using that day, depending on how dry my skin is. And then I take Max Matte or Elf's Mineral Primer and put that just right here, right here, and a little bit on the forehead. And I rub that all in. I use my hands for that. After that, I get a regular foundation brush. I've been using my Sigma one. I forget the number. I want to say it's 190. It's 190. SS 190. So I'll, I take two pumps of this because this does have a pump. And to me... That there's so many high end brands like NARS Sheer Glow and NARS Matte, and so many others. Look how dirty it's getting. So many others that don't have um, a pump, and they should because I hate dumping foundation out. So I take two pumps of this right here on my hand by the thumb, and right here as my little palette. So I take two pumps. I'm not doing this right now because I do have makeup on two pumps of it, take my SS190 and pick up some product and practically paint it on my face. I, I have my, I always have my bangs clipped up when I do it and I paint it up here, get it all in, paint it down here, paint it down here and around my eyes I just go like this and around my nose by the nostrils and right here on the sides I use my fingers to get it in. Then I take a dual fiber slip line brush. Um, the Sony Castric one I have, I have a 187, I have a 188, um, I have a Sigma one, any dual star fiber stippling brush, and I have the 130, but I find that one to be too small for this. If I want to take my time and do my foundation, I'll use that, but if not, that, that, that application with the 130 is a whole different story. We'll just put it that way. So, after that, usually I take my Sony Castric one because I don't want to get my MAC ones messed up. And I know, I know this, just so everybody's well aware, that a dual fiber brush is used for stippling, but I don't use them for that. I find stippling, I end up with dots on my face, like all over. No matter how many times I go over it, or stipple, 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 I could stipple a hundred million times right here, and it's still going to have dots. So I do not stipple. I don't want to have dots on my face. Okay, that's just, to me, I don't want that. So I take the brush, and I buff it. I buff, 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 all over my face. You name it, I buff it everywhere. Until <clears throat> there's no lines, there's no streaking, there's no dotting, there's no nothing. It, it just like melts into your skin that way. And honestly, it looks like my natural skin when I wear it. It looks really nice. So that's using this. And then I put a concealer on. I've been using MAC. Studio Sculpt. I've been using that lately. I'm trying to use it up so I have an excuse to get the other one. <laughs> but I take that, I put it around here, 
I put it on my chin. I dab it all over my chin because my chin has a lot of redness, scarring, so on and so forth. And if I have any problematic pimple areas. After that's all done, I get my CoverGirl and Olay under eye concealer and I put that on. I always do under eye concealer and regular concealer after because the buffing that I do it pretty much will buff it out if I did it otherwise. And sometimes before I even put my foundation on, I'll use a green corrector. That's if I'm having a lot of redness, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And sometimes I don't feel like doing that extra step. So after all the concealer and under eye concealers on, I take Max um, Mineralize Skin Finish Natural and I wear light and I may get light medium soon because I'm getting some sun. We'll see. I'm going to CCO so I may pick it up from the CCO if they have it in light medium there. But I take that on. What I usually do is I'll take it and I'll swirl it two times, do my cheeks all around here, down to here. Then I swirl it again two times, do it over here. Swirl again two times, do it up here. And then I'll take like, I'll stick it in once and do under the eye, stick it in once, do it under the eye. And then once and do over the chin and come down to the neck a little bit. Um, as far as seeing shimmer on your face, I don't see any shimmer on my face. I've been outside in Pennsylvania. It was 94 degrees for the past couple days. It's been in the high 90s and yeah, it's um, April. So I don't know what's going on. Global warming nonsense, like I said in my other video, but I don't mind. So me and my boyfriend were out all day. Literally. He didn't see any glitter on my face. I didn't see any glitter on my face. I don't have a white cast on my face in photography, flash photography, any type. Um, you don't notice any shimmer. I look in the mirror and I don't see any shimmer. I look in the mirror in the car or in the sunlight or anywhere. I don't see any shimmer on my face. I could possibly understand if you weren't setting it seeing some. But I always set foundation anyway because I like the dewy look. But with Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, you still get that because it's not such a heavy powder. And I don't put a hell of a lot on. Sometimes I don't even put as much on as I just explained. So, after all that, I just do bron uh, bronzer, I do contouring, and put some blush on. And some highlighter. And I'm good to go. But I never see any shimmer. And this wears like a dream. This wears just as good as Color Stay Foundation. Um, at the end of the night when I'm going to take my makeup off, first I take my eye makeup off. And then I take an e.l.f. Um, makeup remover wipe, and I take it off. And there's so much makeup on the, the little wipe, it's unreal. And I literally have this on all day, from morning till, sometimes I'm up, I'm up till 2, 3 in the morning. So it wears really well. I don't get any spotting, it's not melting, it's not moving, it's not shifting. And like I said, it's been 90 some degrees here, so it's holding up really well with the weather. But... I just wanted to give my opinion on this because, honestly, this is my HG foundation. If I need to grab for a foundation quick that I know is going to work and I know it's going to stay all day, I get I pull this one out. Um, I love the application of it. It's so easy. It, it wears nicely, and I always know that I'm going to have a flawless looking face with this. I actually need to pick up a second one because I don't want to run out of it. And I have used quite a bit. I'm probably to here on it. Definitely a good foundation. I have dry skin right now. So I want to stress that it may not be good for oily skin. I, I couldn't tell you that. I get oily in here. Like even now I'm not oily though. Right here a little bit I am. Just right here. But not in my T-zone anymore. I've been getting really dry skin. So this is phenomenal for dry skin. I cannot say for oily whatsoever. Um, but... That's about all I have to say about it. There's not glitter in it. People, there is not glitter in it. You're not going to look like a disco ball. Set it. That's all I can say. Set it and do your thing. But I have not noticed any chunks of glitter or looking like a disco ball. I look good with this foundation. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or anything, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and rate my video as well. For a little thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye.